right, so hurdle jumps are a progression of CMJs and squat jumps. It's just jumping over an object now. If you don't have hurdles, that's okay. Use whatever you got. Maybe all you got is water bottles or cones or shoes or a backpack. It doesn't matter. Just use some object that you're jumping over, right? Try to clear it by as much height as you can, but it's just jumping over an object. Something I want you to pay attention to is notice how when I land, it's the same idea when we've been doing our snap downs, our CMJ, etc. We're landing in that triple flexion, hips, knees, ankles, they're all bent, landing on the balls of my toes, or trying to at least, and landing quietly. That's the biggest thing. So that way we're efficiently absorbing forces. Again, most jumps, you're not gonna land like this. If I'm trying to jump and dunk, or I'm trying to jump and lay it up, or get a rebound or catch a ball or something like that, like very rarely do you land here, but it's the skill of landing quietly. It's the skill of landing softly that's gonna help you reduce the risk of injury. And it's also gonna make you stronger in the process because that's called eccentric forces. And we're stronger eccentrically than we are concentrically. So by landing here, I'm also training my body to handle those eccentric forces better, which in turn makes me more stronger and in effect more powerful, okay? That was a little bit of a ramble, but in short, that's how you do a hurdle jump.